Coming up on today's show. Announcements about scheduling classes for next year, prom, sports, positive referrals, and more. Titan News starts now. Good morning, Titans. Today is Wednesday, March 29th, 2023. I'm Devin Hood. And I am Jada McCall. Let's get started with the Morning Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, just a reminder when you are scheduling classes for next year, if you have passed the Visual Art Level 1 class, you are eligible to take the second level of that course. It is not required that you do so, but you have options available to you if you are interested. It is recommended that you have at least a C or higher to advance to the next level of that class. All Visual Art classes have three levels, Level 1, Level 2, and Advanced. You can take the Advanced classes multiple times for credit. If you would like to try a different art class, you will start with level one. The art classes we offer are ceramics, drawing and painting, design, and digital art. See your counselor or one of the art teachers for more information. Student council will meet today at 2.15 p.m. in room B137. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Gomez or Ms. Cooper. Last Friday, all of the students who made straight A's, honor roll, or merit roll were treated to breakfast and karaoke. We have some, vi some fun videos taken that morning to show you. Let's take a look. Somebody tell me why. <laughs> Great job. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Want to have a historically black college or university experience? There is a preview day at Wilberforce University this Saturday, April 1st. See Ms. Jones in room B230 to register and get a permission slip today. Seniors, Prom to Dawn is selling t-shirts for the class of 2023. They are $15 for sizes small to extra large and $18 for 2X to 4X. Cash and Cash App accepted. They will be in the cafeteria during lunch periods until April 12th. Let's make Prom to Dawn fantastic. Skid Row, the place where the sun doesn't shine. On the main strip, a rundown flower shop resides. Almost going out of business. However, the shop is about to get a giant plant. Green gold mine, a carnivor carnivorous plant thirsting for human blood, abusive oh. dentists, clean teeth, a strange and awkward love kindle, and sharp plant teeth cut through the night. Join us in Skid Row as we figure out just why this plant wants human meat at the LHS Drama Club's production of Little Shop of Horrors. Performances will be April 28th and 29th at the LHS Performing Arts Center at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students, military, and senior citizens, and $10 for adults. 
Attention Senior Titans, Prom 2023 is quickly approaching. Our dreamy theme this year will be A Night Under the Stars. Prom will be held on Saturday, May 6th from 6 to 11 p.m. at the shipyards in Lorraine. Dinner will be served at 7.15 and the doors will close at 7.30. Tickets will be $50 each and will only be on sale from April 17th through April 21st, so make sure you save up. In-person cash sales will be on April 17th and 19th from 2.15 to 4 p.m. in the auditorium. Students who want to bring a guest who is not currently a student at LHS must get a signed guest form from the office before purchasing tickets. Otherwise, they may get turned away at the doors. Get ready to dance the night away on the night of your dreams. Attention students and staff of Lorraine High. In celebration of Women's History Month, Girl Power is organizing a donation of collecting personal products, unused fem feminine hygiene products, diapers, wipes, toothpaste, toothbrush, hair products, razors, soap, shampoo, conditioner, shelled food, and etc. All will be donated to the Women's shel Shelter. All donations are due by March 31st. The drop-off location will be Miss Jones' office in room B230. We look forward to your support as a Titan community. Now for sports. In softball on Monday, Lorraine set the tone for the Lake Erie League in a battle of last year's conference co-champs. The Titans came out victorious with a 14-13 win over Bedford on March 27th. Lorraine Titans varsity snatched the lead in, late in the game in a 14-13 victory over Bedford on Monday. The game was tied at 13 with Lorraine batting in the bottom of the fifth when Liberty Thornton drew a walk scoring one run. Lorraine took the lead with an inside the park home run from Veda Blankenship in the fifth inning. They strung together four hits in the fifth. Lorraine tailed seven runs in the fourth inning. Alani Gonzalez, Adiana Bucky, Trinity Gunder, Alexis Ledger, and Brooke Bolin all contributed in the big inning with RBIs. Gunder got the win for Lorraine. Gonzalez threw one in one third innings in relief out of the bullpen. Gonzalez went two for five at the plate to lead Lorraine in hits. Lorraine stole seven bases during the game as two players stole more than one. Thornton led the way with two. Great job, ladies. The Lady Titans are back in action tomorrow versus Euclid. In baseball, on Monday, the Lorraine Varsity Titans won their contest against Bedford 5-2. The Titans got things moving in the first inning when Yenio Valentin <laughs> Sackfly scored one run. Matthew Rosal was the winning pitcher for the Titans. Rosal surrendered two runs on zero hits over five and third innings, striking out 15. Valentin threw one and two-third innings in relief out of the bullpen. Valentin's record recorded the last five outs to learn the save. Lorraine tallied six hits in one day. Tracy Huff and Xavier Palos all collected multiple hits. Palos led Lorraine with three stolen bases as the team ran wild on the base paths with eight stolen bases. The Titans take on Brookside tomorrow. Good luck to both the softball and baseball teams. Once again, this month, math is our featured department. All week, we will have short videos featuring the many math classes and teachers you can count on. Here is all about Algebra 2. Roll the video.
Here is the latest groups of Titans to receive positive referrals. Great job, Titans. Yesterday was a special day as the freshmen were able to visit some colleges. The sophomores explored careers by visiting LHS Career Tech Labs and JROTC. The juniors joined thousands of students across the state by taking the ACT, and seniors visited many locations providing community service. We have received many pictures and some photos that we will feature in our opening sequence. But be sure to tune in to tomorrow's show as we will put a couple of videos together to highlight all of the activities. Also, Lorraine High will be having their first Easter egg hunt this Friday, March 31st. Stay tuned for more information tomorrow. Lorraine High Titans honor kindness of self, others, and the environment. We are tolerant. We support each other. We seek to spread kindness, not hate. The Lorraine High Campus is a nonviolent, sacred space for all to learn, grow, and achieve excellence. Rise together, Titans. Greatness is in us. Staff, if you have any announcements that you would like to see on Titan News, be sure to send us an email at titannews at lorraineschools.org. And that's all we have for today. Remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and be kind to our environment. Go Titans. And have a great rest of your day.